Hello everyone, welcome back to Pongo Techno Valley. I'm Alex Sigrist and today we have an interview with the CEO of an AI tech company. They produce both the software and the designs of the hardware, if I'm not mistaken. I need to learn a little more about what they're making and everything that has to do with AI technology and deep learning. So let's talk today to Longwan Kim or LW Kim or more simply, Dr. Kim. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? You're the CEO of DeepX. So tell us about yourself and your company. Uh, I'm pleased to be here and then to introduce our, myself and our company. So I, I have been at Apple for three years and I was working for uh, implementing the application processes for iPhones and iPad. And also I worked for the neural network processing units for AI hardware systems and software systems. So now I'm working on, you know, deep learning processors for IoT or small electrical devices. And we, uh, the DBAX is working for, you know, the AI semiconductor for, I mean, the AI software and hardware operations in small devices. In the future, we can use that AI even in the very small devices by, you know, AI semiconductors designed by DBAX. So for us, mm -hmm. kind of regular people, mm -hmm. uh, what exactly do you produce? You, you mentioned off camera it was um, the actual physical processors, but mm -hmm. also a little bit of the software. Can you tell mm -hmm. us about both of those? Yeah, that's right. So AI algorithms is designed by, you know, I mean, the software engineers, but now we want to integrate that technology into the small devices. Mm -hmm. then, then we need to have the hardware and software both. But the important thing is for GPU technology, they can use they can use a lot of hardware and a lot of you know algorithm, huge algorithm or huge memory. But for very small devices, we need to you know compress that algorithm efficiently and also we need to implement the hardware, small hardware for you know cal calculating that mathematical operations within the, that algorithm. Then what? We need to create new technology to process the AI algorithm in the very low power and limited hardware resources. That is our core part. And so you now work with phone companies and other companies. Well, you work with, I believe, Samsung to help actually yeah. physically build the chip that you've designed, correct? Okay. People call the DBEX as our family's company. Families means we just designed a semiconductor Samsung Electronics or TSMC can manufacture that semiconductor based on the, the design schematic, I mean, the drawn by ourselves, so I mean, the implemented by ourselves. So uh, we just focus on the designing part and manufacturer companies can actually implement that for the Azure products. Mm -hmm. What do you think the future is going to hold? You mentioned small devices are going to be able to mm -hmm. Uh, use the AI technology, but mm -hmm. can you give us an example of something that would surprise the average consumer? Like, okay, phones, I get it, but like, what other devices might surprise us that we'll find your technology in? Yeah. It's not surprising, but we will, we can, I mean, the contribute to the smart mobility applications like uh, self-driving cars and self-driving drones mm -hmm. or self-driving robots. Self-driving drones? Drones, why not? Yeah. And the drones will follow and f fly just all ahead of your head and then taking a picture for you. Of course. If you enjoy the skiing and <laughs> enjoy the just, you know, sports, then the, the self-driving drones just follow you and to take the you know, video for you. It'll be good applications. You will buy that. You will love it, right? Also, yeah. I mean, the security camera, you know, in the, in the you know, parking lot, Nowadays, you know, people just you know, monitor all the you know, cars, but if we install that you know, AI-based security camera, they can take up videos when they have some you know, moving objects like uh, cars and mm -hmm. humans, and also they can compile that in movies just for the supervisor. The mm -hmm. supervisor can only focus on there are some moving effect, moving mm -hmm. you know, operation by human or cars, then they can just check some theft or something, right? Then by using the AI, they can reduce the time and then increase the you know detection level. So really, all parts of our life, whether it's uh, entertainment value, security, or work, phones, something like that. Also, you know, also we are working for the you know home appliances. Source image can be you know just normal, but by using the AI, 
we can, you know, increase the value of the quality of this image or video. I mean, I mean, they're shown by the you know, TVs or display. The thing is, they need real-time processing to show that upgraded you know, image or video. The, then, then they need not just software, but also very high-performance hardware, semiconductor. We're working on that. All right, so bring us to the now. Mm -hmm. What are you currently making now? What is the status of your company? And what's kind of the near future plans that you have going on? Early this year, DVAX uh, able to implement that one neural processing unit, which can process 1,000 inference operation for mobile net version one, which is a deep learning algorithm. So the, impo the important part of that one is it, the processing power can be over the, I mean, the server, uh, server computer processors. So the processing performance is over that, you know, server level MPU processors. So it's really good. Now, so we use this MPU to implement the actual semiconductor next year, then we can process, you know, 6,000 inference. That means currently the highest performance MPU processor, even used for the server, can process 3,000 inferences. But for us, 6,000, for small devices. Mm -hmm. That means in terms of the performance, we are the best. At the same time, in terms of power efficiency, we want to be world first level. So, so 2023, we'll go to the CS and then we'll show our technology. So also we want to say this is the, the highest performance and the highest power efficiency. That's our dream and our future. Uh, well, that is certainly an exciting future to look forward to. And uh, I'm sure you'll be able to make that goal by 2023. Before we go, one question. Pangyo, mm -hmm. you're here. Mm -hmm. Why are you here, or at least what are the advantages that you've experienced by being here? Uh, that's a good question. I love Pangyo, the location, and I also I think that Pangyo is a kind of, you know, Silicon Valley in the U.S. So I have a lot of customers here. I have a lot of, you know, colleagues here, engineers here. That's why this is the best, best place to live and stay. So actually I have some potential co co customers like uh, Hanwha, SK, and etc. So we are also our colleagues here. So many small, I mean, startups, core with. So I think that this is best. And also, all my colleagues in my company love this place to work. That's why I think that this is best. And also, it has the great potential to grow for our company. That's why I love. Great. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us. And uh, good luck to all of your companies work in the future. Thanks a lot.